Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the return of Chop Talk. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Chop Talk has returned to our yeah. channel for the first time in a couple months. Yes, yes. It's been a hot minute since we've gone to some wrestling. We just had some other stuff going on. I think we had a Pride party going on before. We got to see Prozac. I mean, mm. sorry, guys. Priorities. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> How are you doing today, my friend? I'm tired. I've been. Uh, I worked out this morning. Then went to work. Mm. From, worked from twelve to twelve thirty and nine fifteen. Got home. It's been an hour since like just over an hour since I got off work, and I got home, made the slideshow to put the graphics in this, and then jumped on here with you. Here we be. <laughs> here we be. A long day, but good day because I, you know, lots of great memories from last night. Got this at the show we're about mm -hmm. to talk about. So, yes. I know I had. I it's been a good day, and yeah, I got a good workout in. Happy, pondered some questions about work about gym etiquette with you, and with Cat. So yeah. it was it was a nice day. Questionable things sometimes happen at the gym. Questionable things. Yeah, and and again, the like. It, it, you know, it, 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 you see certain things happen, and you're like, "Oh, okay." Some people are and dicks. like, "Make it make sense." Why? Why? What? Why does life work? I don't understand. Because people go and peep. People go and peep. Well, <laughs> peeping was happened to be what we. <laughs> the peeping about. was the problem. <laughs> yeah, but okay, okay. <laughs> well, we're not, we're not going to get into it, but we are it, not. It, no, the, the questions of life. If, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, oh, shit, my camera is way off center. I just realized that. There we go. Um, hey. If you're wondering what I'm talking about here, just send me a message on social media. I will send you a private message back, and I will tell you what we were, <laughs> what, what about the gym world confused me today. What a world we live in today, hey? It is, but we are back to talk some LPW Love Pro Wrestling mm -hmm. 19 Speedball Strikes first. But before we do that, we want to thank each and every one of you, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate all of you people for all the great support you have given us over the this channel's lifetime. We've been doing this just a little over a year now, and... The response we've got from all of you is absolutely insane. We thank you so very, very much. Big shout out to our, the biggest probably supporter of this show for sure, Mr. Jason Rutledge, my boy. Yes. We love you. Glad we got to see you at this show. Looking forward to next month with everything we have planned for next month. We'll talk about all that on the next edition of Chop Talk uh, from LPW. We'll chat about that. Yes. Did you see Rich? Or, uh, he was dressed up as Rick Jules today? He or that was yesterday? Yes, he was Rick da, 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 da. Words he are was Rick fun. Jules. I absolutely. As soon as I saw him, I'm like, "You're Rick Jules." I, I like. I, I knew it just just from the get up. I was like, yeah, "It was easy." That was easy. The suspenders are a dead giveaway. Hundred percent. Like I'll say this: Jason Rutledge is a highlight of going to wrestling shows. Just no. just kind of just seeing what the man will dress up in, and when he shows up to a show not in cosplay, that's when you have to be worried. Yeah, yeah, I I don't think I've actually ever seen that happen. No, me either. But again, there'll be a day he'll do it, and we all we're all gonna look at him going, "Are you okay?" Nay, nay, sir, never do this. Nay, nay. Well, the day I saw him in his suit, I was like, "What the fuck?" But then I re then I found out he was doing he had the suit on for stuff he was doing with uh, the, the Archer report, the Archer report. So, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yes. when he was part of that. So I was wondering why he was wearing a suit because weird to see Jason Rutledge wear a suit. Fancy pants, Jay. But thank you so much. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we love you all. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Comment down below. Ah, words are hard. Um, yeah, I know. Uh, and because uh, we want to hear from each and every one of you. We love talking to you guys. It's it's one of the best parts about doing this show is actually getting to talk to you guys. Um, and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time we drop a new video. <laughs> Ding dong. Hello. <laughs> oh man. People going to fave. We are going to get into this. <laughs> Love Pro Wrestling 19 Speedball Strikes first. Yes, yeah. we are here to talk some LPW. This was the, the, I was so looking forward to this show 
because getting to meet Speedball, we've been watching him this year. If you go back and watch uh, Russian of the videos, we're us talking about him and the best of Super Juniors. Mm-hmm. Elated with this man. Yes. And I was so excited to meet him. And he was going to wrestle, arguably, my favorite wrestler ever in Michael Richard Blaze. Um, yeah, this this whole thing just made me so happy. And we did get to meet him and his wife, Miss Veda Scott. I, yeah. I was super excited to meet them. They were absolutely yeah. phenomenal. And I included the picture in the video of me, yeah. Melba, meeting Veda and Speedball before the show. Actually, we, they're, they're, I love talking to Speedball and Veda. They were, Speedball's so nice, man. The dude was yeah, so chill. Yeah. So, and I did get to get a picture with him again after the show. When he's in his gear, and he was so so kind, so awesome. I I really liked this guy. Yes, this was a, a good experience to have, and I totally marked out during the match. Just being able to see him do the moves that we were talking about in the best of the uh, Super Juniors. There, seeing him right in front of us, like literally a few feet in front of us, because we had those VIP spots. That was mm-hmm. perfection. Perfection. And we did tell Veda we want her to keep doing uh, the strong brand so that we don't have to hear Al- Alice Kozlov. <laughs> I, did, I did tell her that. Yeah, yeah, because gosh dang. <laughs> and, and uh, not, what was the last show that we saw where it was um, Rickabani, Veda, and... Ray Wolt. Um, that was the one with Kenta tossing Hikaleo over the side? No. No, that was the four way with the um NJPW women's strong title. Oh, yes, yes. The impact was it multiverse? Yeah, multiverse yeah, multiverse, mostly verse united, too. Yeah, yeah, that was a great show. Great show, mm-hmm. so the great I- best commentators for that brand, yeah. So wonderful. So yeah. wonderful. Absolutely. And we got to sit next to we were sitting next to the table where Big Bad Boris and her were doing commentary. Yeah, so I, I, got cool. to, I got to listen to her do some commentary here and there. It was really mm. awesome. Like to hear Pretty fun hear, experience. It was, it was really cool to hear her call the show. I really was. So mm. again, awesome time meeting those. If you get a chance and Veda Scott or Mike Bailey are in your town, mm-hmm. go meet them. Go see them. Mike Bailey. My best, the best part, one of the best parts about Mike Bailey was, we'll talk about it, was Andreas. <laughs> uh, I'll, talk, I'll talk about it more when we get into it. Oh, yeah, we moly. have to talk about that. Holy moly, was that awesome. But we are going oh. to, we're going to move on. We're going to talk the first match of the night is for the LPW Challenge Championship. It's Son of Irish mm-hmm. defending his title against the professional mm-hmm. Travis Williams. Again, Sorry, this boy. match. This is Soy Boy, the future son of Irish. I, I, these two, like, tore it up in the ring together. Both these guys are absolute great, great te- technical transitions in the start. Uh, Irish, uh, like, is in an arm ringer, so he flips over, bounces off the top rope, and does a back fl- a backflip to get out of the arm ringer. It was mm-hmm. awesome. Um, Irish, Irish turns the Rana attempt by uh, Travis Williams into a power bomb for two. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Tope Con Hilo by Son of Irish to the floor, then gets was just crazy. Then he yeah. sends Travis back in and gets the springboard lariat for two. Like, so good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Travis just grabs him and just just yeets him over that backdrop driver, just driving Ooh. him in. It looked that was quick, and, yeah, with the bridge too. It looked brutal, then follows it up. Uh, with a suplex for two, uh, just this guy, he's so vicious. He's so mm-hmm. like just technically sound. It's so good. But so um, calm at the same time also, something that not a lot of guys can maintain in these situations. Very much so. Mm-hmm. Seated abdominal stretch by by uh, Travis Williams, but Santa Barbara works his way up. And out and trap, but Travis goes back to work in the arm over, gets a hammer lock it, and like grabs the arm bar and pulls the arm over and he pulls yeah. it so far that he lays and he gets it behind his back and he lays all the way down from the submission, turning it into a pin. It, and was Irish kicked out it too, but it was still really cool to yeah. watch him do it. It was yeah. such a cool transition. My shoulder hurt just watching it though. My goodness. 
well, your shoulders hurt all the time from all the shoulder workouts you do. So <laughs> fair. That's fair. Yeah. Um, great chop battle in the center for the TCU, just cracking each other. Uh, Son of Irish hits the Irish twist for two. He misses the 450 off the top, and Travis gets a sick looking brain buster, then hits that handspring lariat, the handspring into the twist and twisting into that lariat for two. Mm-hmm. Uh, Son of Irish fights back, gets a spinning some mowing for two, then hits a running shooting star press for two. Uh, Son of Irish gets a like a just a knee to the jaw, uh, but then he goes, he goes to hot because he, he tried to sunset flip earlier in the match and like messed up his knee, so mm-hmm. he gets a knee to the face and goes for the hop up onto the second rope, but his knee gave out and he fell to the mat, so then he hopped up again and came out for the for the IRA cutter, but Travis catches him. Hits him with a German, and then he like rolls him up, pulls the tights, and we have a new champion, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes, yes yeah, yes. dude, inc- like incredible match. But I'm like, mm-hmm. you had to cheat to win. What the hell, man? Yeah, that was the only thing I didn't like about it. It's like you had it. You didn't need the Polish shorts. Didn't need to do that, but it was a thing happened. Um, yeah, th- this was a really, really fun, great opener. I've been really enjoying seeing Soy Boy in the openers. Um, just does so good with this title. It's it'll be interesting to see what he pursues after this. Now, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Does he move up? Is is, is it, or does he? Because we did see him a little bit later on the night, and we'll talk about that. Is it a world? Mm-hmm. Is there a heavyweight title shot in this future? Is, yeah. is there something else in his future as we'll talk about in a little bit? So we don't know. We don't know. But again, mm-hmm. congratulations to Travis Williams. You were you are quite the professional, sir, and congratulations on winning the LPW Challenge Championship. Yes. Congratulations, sir. Yeah. So we are gonna move on and we get to a the second match tonight was a tag team match. It's the Rads. <laughs> this uh, would be so much easier if we were next to each other. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So we'll go like this. Um. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, we did it. We're rad. <laughs> we're rad. We're rad. There we go. The Rads, uh, Rich King, and Lumberjack Larry was taking on Sevens Mars, the specialist, and TJ Cannon. <laughs> yeah. TJ Cannon. <laughs> You know, I, you didn't even like not pull any punches. You told him right out. Oh yeah, I started screaming in his face. And he was in our corner. He was his yeah, corner. I know. Was right I was there. Where, and I was yelling at him while he was on the fucking apron, just just you like were. you're a piece of shit. And then Andres is t- screaming at Mars. You need to get a new partner. And it, it was just a great time. Just yelling, <laughs> it was jolly time. good fun. Oh, jolly very good fun. jolly good fun. Uh, jolly good. T- uh, early on, TJ and Mars try to double team, but Rich fights them off, tags and Larry, and they take they take TJ to the outside and they do the uh, wishbone spot with with uh, Mars's crotch, yeah. just pulling the legs apart. Yum, um, yum. Rich gets a beautiful bow and arrow on Mars on Mars, like mm-hmm. just wrenching back, and then all of a sudden Larry comes flying over with with the Eddie Guerrero style sent on. Mm-hmm. Um, and just crashing onto Mars. It looked awesome. Yeah. And Larry got a two count out of it. Um, Mars runs Larry into Rich, then hits a big German on Larry. Uh, and then TJ hits a backbreaker into the face slam and hits a leg drop to follow it up for two. Kind of Yoda Suji ish, but didn't do the foot stomp. Instead, hit a leg drop. But yeah, yeah again, yeah. I, I was like, ooh, he's in corp. He's finally getting good moves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it took forever, but you know, <laughs> took a hot minute. Yes, took a hot minute. Uh, seven get to get in great control. A, a, a good point in the match is working over Larry, tagging it up, beating up Larry in the corner. Uh, mm-hmm. Larry gets the okay. gets the MJF kangaroo kick. Yeah. Gets, the, gets the kangaroo kick. Um, it, it, I love. I, I marked up for that. Uh, Rich King. It, it's a beautiful superplex to Mars. Then goes. Uh, then goes to the outside, comes over the top, and hits the hits the DDT into the ring. Uh, Rich hits a Falcon Arrow driver for two. 
Uh, it was a, uh, again, beautiful lung blower wheelbarrow suplex combo from seven looked really, really good, but Larry broke that pin up. Um, Larry stops the spider suplex by Mars off the top and hits his beautiful tree of woe stomp. And the rads hit the snapshot. Uh, Larry, the snapshot, as I call it, from Eminem way back in 2004. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they oh, call it. Oh, dear. <laughs> I don't know what they call it. So to me, it's the snapshot. Uh, it works, it works. Yeah, Larry gets in that, gets in, uh, like Larry's in that are yelling at each other. And then Mars gets a low blow, but then Ben's incensed by the low blow because he's about to roll up uh, Larry for the win. So he comes in, he ta- he literally hucks. Grabs Mars and just pushes him across the ring. Ben's pissed. Everybody starts fighting. The and then St- Stu Garvey's lost all control because the guy is insane. And he uh, he throws the match out. It's a no contest. And uh, yeah, Spencer comes in. And he's pissed because he's been dealing with this shit for months and months and months uh, of Rads versus Seven and nothing ever being resolved. So he comes in. Uh, and he says, it's Ben and two of the Rads versus Thad and two of seven. And and like that, and like Ben's like, yeah, let's do this. Like he wants to get his hands on, th- on Thad. But like Thad's like, no, no, no. The only way this happens is if it's manager stops managing match. Like, and the scary part is Thad's one and oh in this. Because he's already gotten rid of Dr. Kyoto. So That's concerning. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared for Ben. Like I, I believe mm-hmm. in the Rads, but man has man's one and oh in the in, in the manager leave town match, so That's a concern. Yeah. A concern. We don't want to lose managers. Managers are good. They help a lot. Um mm. Mm. Especially with uh, Mitch not being around so much. Mm. Kind of helps to have that extra guy in the Rad's corner. It um, does. Yeah. Um, I don't have a whole ton to add to this one. Um, you you kind of hit the nail on the head. I just kind of enjoyed this and laughed at you yelling at TJ there. Um, Rad's yeah. have become a, a joy to watch. I enjoy watching them. Yeah, you really love watching the Reds. <laughs> you got two guys who know what the frick they're doing, and you got arguably the best intro musics for the Reds and for Rich King. Dun, 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 dun. It's so it's so good. <laughs> it? And then like when Rich comes out on his own, he's coming out to, to kiss by a rose. It's just rock version too. Yeah, and again, the hot boy, uh, hot hot Rad summer will never end, ladies and gentlemen. It will never end. I don't know. It's always, right now it's, it's always, haunted for Halloween. It's it's always a hot rad summer, even in the middle of Christmas. <laughs> it's the hot rad summer. Yeah, yeah. We noticed a uh, different hairstyle for Larry wearing a little yeah today. He, we, people were chanting for Larry's bald spot, but he had it covered up. So like, it it's the been money. Lit. You got to bring out the money at the right time. Yeah, it should have been Larry's ponytail. Larry's ponytail is what it should have been. But it was giving me hockey hair vibes. Yeah, it kind of was. It kind of had hockey mm-hmm. hair vibes. Huh? We move on. Third match of the evening. It's it's a rematch. El Asesino versus Jared Rogers. Mm-hmm. Uh, El Asesino. I didn't wear gear. He's just wearing jeans. It's like what the I was hell, a little dude? disappointed in that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he jumps Rogers during his entrance, beats him down, hits a suplex for two. This match was not long. This is the shortest match on the on the show by a long shot. Uh, Rogers fights back, hits strikes and chops, but Asasino hit gets the splash in the corner, hits the overhead, and then hits an overhead belly to belly for two. Uh, Asasino choking him in the ropes, uh, beat he's beating up on Rogers, whipping him hard into the corner. Uh, mm-hmm. Rogers cuts, try to fight back, hits a drop kick. Uh, Asasino catches catches him. It's like a swing out, like spin out into a flat liner. Looked really good. Yeah, yeah, I popped for that one. That one looked nasty. I saw you go like like have a reaction yeah. when he hit that. It looked good, man. It mm-hmm. looked really good. Um, Rogers catches like Asasino's beating on him, 
But then Rogers out of nowhere pulls him into a small package, steals the win, like upset, like you wouldn't believe, because he's been he was getting his ass kicked the pretty much the entire time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then As- Asasino's pissed, so he jumps on him and just beating the living crap out of him until security, so like, or I guess two, two dudes in gray sweaters come running out. Um, uh, form- former professional wrestler and ma- just made his return to the indie scene. JJ Spade was one of them. Uh, oh. just made his return to the indie scene where it can working for RCW is, has been tra- is training for his return with the clandestine society at the training mm-hmm. school. So, um, yeah, so he, he was one of the guy, one of the security guys. I didn't know the other, but he was one of the guys to come out and, and break up the fight. Then son of Irish makes his way out and he helps to break up this fight. And then mm-hmm. he raises Rogers, hand. So my question is the young guns shared Rogers, son of Irish just happening. What do you mean happening? Like happening in a singles, happening in a tag? Well, what are we doing? Is, is, yeah, is this a tag team? Like, like we said, I, like I said, Irish has options. Like he's got he's he's dropped the challenge title. So what's next? Mm-hmm. Is he going to go after Zoe in that in the heavy in the heavyweight title it, or the grand championship? Is he going to go after? Maybe he wants to team up with Jared Rogers and go after the tag titles again. Like. We could use a couple more teams infused into the mix, like a couple more regular mm-hmm. teams in this company. I would really like to see it. Mm-hmm. That also leaves the door open for Assassino bringing uh, someone over from his kind of native promotion in PPW. There, yeah. see some more talent uh, exchange. Um, that, yeah, I mean, go figure. You had to call in the kid with the big stick to to take care of of the big guy in the mask. Um, yeah. Yeah, but again, it was just it was interesting to watch, and just I was, I was all I could think it was fun. Like, are we? I'm, I when mean, I was thinking just after the match, are we gonna get these like young guns teaming up to be a tag team? Maybe I wouldn't be mad about it. Irish doesn't I have a tag. Like it. Yeah, and it'd be good. I think it'd be good for Rogers. Well, I think actually Rogers is might be a year, a couple of years older than Irish. So Irish is only nineteen. I think Rogers is again. I'm not sure, but I know he, I've 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 known the kid for a while. From knowing him at shows for a few last few years, yeah, I I don't think he's super young. Like he's still young. Like you think I think he's like early twenties. But mm-hmm. the fact is, Irish has been wrestling. He's been in like he grew up in this business. He's been wrestling since he was like 12, 13 mm-hmm. years old. Like he Jared Rogers could really learn a lot from teaming with Son of Irish. Hundred percent, hundred percent. To see. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, to see him, like, um, Son of Irish kind of go on from the mentorship of Parrish, Chris Parrish, and then go out on his own, it would be interesting to see him get back together with someone and, and start tagging and see what he's learned um, in that yeah. time separated. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. A hundred percent. I think that'd be great. And mm-hmm. yeah, I, I just think, and again, it it li- it'll li- help liven up the tag. Now the tag division is not it's not bad. I'm enjoying the tag division here in LPW. Um, mm-hmm. It just gives it, it gives some more life to it. It gives a little more, just a little bit more to imp- help improve it. Hundred mm-hmm. percent, I agree. Imagine the Rads versus Jared Rogers and Son of Irish. I'd enjoy the heck out of that match. I, re- I really would. Yeah, yeah, that would be a fun one. Yeah. I don't think it would be. I think it would be. Got anything else in this one? Or are we, are we no, no. All right. We move on. It's T.Y. Jackson versus yes. Reed. The thickness. Reed Matthews. If T.Y. wins, the Rads earn a grand championship shot. Um, thickness establishing power early, but T.Y. does get a uh, reverses a, a power bomb into a sunset flip. Two, uh, T.Y. sends thickness to the floor with the head scissors and hits the top tope con hilo over the top. Loved it. Very good. Very good. This, like T.Y. Jackson is just a, it's just a treat to watch every time. He is. He is. He has this like charisma about him that like people just like it's, it's magnetic. Mm-hmm. You want to be in his corner. You want to cheer for him. You want to do his little sheesh thing. It's fun. Yeah. Again. It, uh, this guy is so good, man. Um, mm-hmm. Thickness uh, crotches T.Y. out when he's up top. Knocks him down, crotches him. Uh, they fight up top, but uh, 
uh, thickness like thickness gets knocked off, but he catches the high cross from T.Y. Jackson and yeets him with a follow-away slam. Thickness just beating the crap out of just, just beating the hell out of T.Y. Jackson. Uh, T.Y. Jackson uh, slips out the blue thunderbomb, hits an enziguri, can't get the suplex, but slips out a thickness of suplex into a roll up for two. Um, thickness catches a kick and hits this really awesome looking exploder suplex where he caught him, pulled him in. Oh, oh, Melball with the scoop. I, I have, I was grabbing it while we were starting this up. It is called, he calls it the seismic toss. Oh. Seismic toss. I like it. The seismic toss, ladies and gentlemen. It, it is like a modified exploder suplex. Like how he held him and how he tossed him, but he tossed him like he had him in a trap and threw him over his head. It was, it was a spot. Like it looked like a, a version of an exploder suplex to me, but he's mm-hmm. calling it a seismic toss, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Inside scoop. Yeah, that was that was awesome. That was mm-hmm. awesome. Uh, thickness gets a pop up power bomb for two. Then just uh, and he just then he just gets on top of thickness, just throwing strikes. Mm-hmm. Um, Ty comes off the top, hits the eclipse. I think you you literally turned away when this was happening. <laughs> you you missed it. I think you you okay. got up. With it. Yeah, and he hits this beautiful eclipse off the top rope, that twisting center off the top. Uh, but thickness kicks at that last millisecond at 2.9. Mm-hmm. Um, T.Y. hits the Enziguri and the disaster kick, but again, only two. Thickness gets the, uh, from off the shoulders into the spin out spine buster, like spins mm-hmm. off the shoulder into the spine buster, but he can only get two. Uh, T.Y. hits a super kick, uh, or uh, when uh, he gets up and hits a super kick, his thickness is going for the cannonball, uh, then hits a, then hits slight spread number two, but can only again. And then uh, Zoe gets goes and removes the turnbuckle pad, um, and then thickness hits a lariat. But Ty, but then Zoe goes to throw the grand championship in, but Ty gets it mm-hmm. and he pulls the Eddie Guerrero. He walks at the thickness, falls and that pretends to be heard, and Love then it. thickness is go- what's going, what's going on, and then Stu grabs the belt, and then th- he rolls thickness up for two, and then uh, hits his that hit when he runs up and the like that that almost shining wizard heel kick thing that he does, mm-hmm. uh, for hits that goes to the top, swanton bomb, and Zoe on the on the outside just having a a freak out at this point. Because she is just like, no, no, no. Swanton, T.Y. gets the win. And the Rads now have a shot at the Grand Championship. Yes. Yes. This is great. This is a really fun match. This was exactly what I expected out of both of these guys and better. Because T.Y. is such a good in-ring talent. And Thick is just fucking raw power. Mm-hmm. So good. Both these guys also have like such a great in-ring chemistry together. It's just everything was just so, just so good. I loved it. Yeah, these guys absolutely killed it, man. Like mm-hmm. I, I thought they just they tore they tore it down, man. This crowd mm-hmm. is so behind Ty and Thickness is just a perfect bad guy. Like, oh yeah, the perfect heel. Like he mm-hmm. really, really is. Like so yeah. good, so so good. So we move on to the match match before intermission. And is the LPW Scramble Championship. <sighs> Two of the people on this picture. Oh, no. Uh, one of the people in this picture did not make it. And actually, that picture just came out the other day with Eli Serge. We're supposed to, it was in the top left corner. He got replaced. Mm-hmm. Um, so you actually only had a four-way scramble match. It was Jack Pride defending against Riley Cruz, the guy in the top mm-hmm. left, uh, versus w- Wolf Boy Will Mantla. Yeah, it just yeah. is Wolf, but yeah, well, I think it was Wolf Boy, Will Mantla, and Real Talk, Dean Rick. Yeah, um, yeah, Body Slam Challenge in the beginning as Dean sla- Dean slamming Riley, Pride slamming Wolf. Um, Pride gets a beautiful mushroom stomp style double knees to to Dean Richter. Looked really good where he like he mm-hmm. hops up and like instead of like double stomping a guy from standing position down. He used double knees to send him down to the mat. Looked really good. 
Um, it's more effective. I like it. Yeah. Um, oh, and again, I don't want to shit on Wolf or Riley, uh, but you could could tell that they may not have had as much experience uh, as the other two members of this match. It, mm-hmm. You could tell, but they did a good job. Like it wasn't mm-hmm. bad. Like they weren't bad. There were some missteps from from those guys, but they were pretty good. Um, uh, I'm just gonna go over a couple more highlights in this one. Uh, Pride hits a beautiful exploder on uh, Wolf, and then Dean hits another, follows it up, hits his own exploder on Riley. Uh, really nice half and half by suplex by by uh, by Dean Richter to Riley, and then he just just stands up and just stomps on him real hard. I was like, oh, that's kind of mean. Uh, yeah. Dean goes to the top, hit uh, hits Riley with the flying head, bud, but Pride breaks up the pin. Uh, Pride hits this, like, hop over. Like, he goes over – like, he goes up over a guy, over the guy from behind, landing in front of him, turns around, just forearms him in the face. Like, it, it, like leap, you, leap, you, like, leapfrog them, and then turn around and just crack – it's just cracked. Uh, it, like he just cracked Dean in the face. It was brutal. Then he suplexes, follows him up and suplexes him. Uh, Wolf Boy attacks Pride. Hits a very nice northern suplex uh, into the br- bridging pin for two. Riley hits the follow away slam to Wolf and yeeted him. But that's because Wolf is tiny and he's like you can any dude like you could yeet yeah. him. I, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then. Uh, does a kip up, goes to the top, hits the top rope moonsault for two. Uh, D- Dean Richter hits a lariat, uh, hits a boot, then a rolling forearm, and hits what he calls the seismic driver. Very close to the seismic toss. Seismic mm-hmm. driver, a.k.a. a sit-out burning hammer. But Pride ends up pulling the ref out. Uh, Pride ends up kick like, Dean coming out to meet him, and then Pride kicks the, the rope into Dean's crotch. Uh, and then... Uh, Pride then Dean then knocks Pride off the apron, goes back in, hits triple Germans a wolf, then boots Riley, gets him up and hits the electric chair, gets him up in the chair, then drops him down and Germans him the actually Kenny Omega's Croix wrath essentially. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dean goes up to the top again, but Pride as he's going for his flying headbutt, Pride out of nowhere comes flying in, c- jumps up, code breakers. Uh, Dean Walt sentoning on to right to Riley. Mm-hmm. Holy shiza. Um, yeah. And then Pride pins Riley for the win. Like, dang. Like, that was a great finish. That was a great finish. I was. That was a very yeah. great finish. Very sudden, very quick, very good. Mm-hmm. I was uh, looking forward to seeing Sean Moore. I was disappointed he wasn't there. And they even played his music, and I was like, Rude. What? 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 But. I was I, I was a little disappointed by that. Like and it's like and he and literally Spencer goes, What he literally like yelling from the cut it and he's like, I told you not to play that. He's not here. Like I was just like and he, like I don't know. It, it 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 wasn't cool, man. Like you don't start playing that awesome music if he's not there. Yeah, and then disappoint me. Yeah. I mean, granted they did give us T Y's music twice. Which it was true. kind of but, awesome. But yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, I really like the finish of this one. I really enjoyed seeing Dean Richter. It had been a hot minute since we'd seen him because he was kind of hanging out on RCW there for a bit, and we don't go out to those as much as we do to LPW or Top Talent. And we did happen to see him on Top Talent once, but unfortunately we haven't seen him in a little bit. Sucks. Yeah, um, yeah I always enjoy watching his wrestling. He's got some pretty solid kicks. Uh have a whole lot to add to this one this was where i had to play bodyguard to my friend so i missed a little bit of it playing bodyguard what do you mean girls always go in pairs you know what i'm talking about if you know you know oh yeah okay that makes more sense i i get it was the bodyguard that's what you get for for caring about people god damn this black heart of mine i don't know what it is i don't know why you why, why you care about people i don't understand it yeah, I know. I really don't understand it myself, but here we are. Yeah, we are. 
And we, so we went to intermission. When we came back, we get a LPW Tag Team Championship match. It's Team Ride or Die, TFA, Terran from Accounting, teaming up with the Rhinestone Cowboy, Stephen Crow, but not so Rhinestone anymore. He's got like some like dark purple gear with fire flames, or black gear with fire purple fire flames and pink all over it. I don't know. It was really, I, I, I like the gear switch. I did too. It was giving me like really fun punk rock vibes. I really like yeah. it. Yeah, and they are taking on the champions, Paralira, Birak Garani, and Sheik Akbar Shabazz. Birak attacks Crow in the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Sheiky Baby came out with this, like, little gold bow tie around his neck and wore it the whole match. And then me and – and I, I love me some Birak Garani. I own his shirt. I, I'm a big fan mm-hmm. of the guy. I love mm-hmm. – I love. I, I used to love this guy, that his twin brother, the Spaceman. I was a big fan of his twin brother, the Spaceman, too. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, um, I, we kept saying to him, like, you need to get a red bow tie. It, it would work so much, so well. Um, William Chippendale. So, Crow, as usual, goes it goes through the crowd to, you know, hang out, like, to mm-hmm. greet the fans and high-five everybody. And then right behind us, Beer Garani attack Steven or he or out, uh, over a little farther he attacks him then they mm-hmm. fight up uh, around us and it was just it was crazy yeah yeah I was like protecting drinks on the table because I was scared that things would get knocked over and I did not want to get wet in this situation <laughs> and then TFA's in the ring yelling what the hell and then she comes up from behind and just attacks her from behind they're mm-hmm. starts beating her up uh this is where I wrote she she has a gold bow tie on uh, let the leg Larry spine buster combo by Paralira to TFA back in the ring when the match started. Mm-hmm. TFA hitting a great DDT to Birek Arani after she, like he, he, their move is he tossed, he, he's got her inverted and he goes to flip. Uh, he flips her over into Birat who usually hits a spine buster, but mm-hmm. she turned it into a really nice DDT. Mm-hmm. Good DDT, really, really good spot there. Um, Ride or die, hitting the double snapmare and sandwich kiss. The chic uh, springboard Rana by Crow. He slipped, but then he saved it. He did mm-hmm. save it. He he, he he did save it. Uh, to chic, then hit, then hits that comes out of the other ropes with the chest stomp for t- like the standing chest stomp for for two. Uh, chic pops up Crow. But uh, Crow ends up hitting a Meteora instead of Sheik getting that up, that pop-up uppercut that he does. Yeah. Yeah, I was a little disappointed we didn't get that. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's one of my favorites that he does. Yeah. Birat hits a drop kick in the leg, Larry, and then hits the – it's uh, uh, like a spin off the shoulders into a fight face buster driver into the into the knee. Uh, mm-hmm. Looks, I, I can't remember what it's called, but I'm pretty sure Ty Dillinger was, or Sean Spears was doing it back in WWE at one point because he was literally mm-hmm. using the Ushi Garoshi, and then AJ Styles came in who uses the Ushi Garoshi, so he mm-hmm. had to switch to a, the spin off the shoulder into the face buster um, to the knee. But yeah, Barrett did that get two. Uh, then Stu Garvey fucks up here. Um, Birat's not holding the tag rope, and they make a tag. And Crow hasn't hasn't been holding the tag. Crow hasn't been holding the tag rope the entire night, and he's been tagging in and out with no with no trouble. And Stu like stops the tag and makes mm-hmm. them reset, grab the tag rope, and then tag. So I was like, what the fuck, man? Um. Paralira hit the toss like into the they do get the toss off the shoulders into the spine buster to Crow. Mm-hmm. Uh Crow and Sheik fight up top. Crow hits the tree of woe stomp to Sheik, but then gets like Sheik had some trouble because he literally was stuck in the ring. And like Crow had to like pick to keep going, had to like lift him up and unhook his foot because he to get him out to keep beating up on Sheik. Mm-hmm. Um Paralira gets control of Crow. They go for what I like to call the execution, which is the uh, blockbuster razor's edge combo. Um, but yeah. TFA stops it. Uh, Ride or die hit the double team. And then TFA like pushes Sheik and he falls in like he falls into the ref, right? Like 
Like, he didn't attack the ref. He, f- he got pushed by Taryn and falls into the ref. So the ref just get like, Stu gets up and he DQs Paralira. Like, mm-hmm. it's not like he punched you, dude. But the guy did hit the ref. But I don't know. It. it, it I didn't like it. And Ryder I voice as much. I did not like that. No. So Ryder Dye gets the DQ win. But mm-hmm. Paralira retains the tag titles because titles don't change on a disqualification unless otherwise stated. Mm-hmm. Um, so this means I'm guessing next month we're getting Paralira versus Ride or Die again um, in a rematch. Probably okay. no DQ, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Change the stipulations. Yeah, I, I guess so. That's probably, that's, I just feel like that's where it's going now. Did you also see the part where Stu's back was turned and instead of just tagging out, she just clapped his hands? Yeah, and then he just accepted it. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. And he accepted it. So I'm like, dude, why the f- didn't you just accept an actual valid tag? Like, I love I love me some Stu Garvey. Don't get me wrong. But he fucked up a couple times tonight. So, or last night. Naughty, naughty. I don't know. Naughty, naughty. Yeah. But again, um, good match. Like I, I, I enjoyed the match. We were also denied that jumping European uppercut that Sheik does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were. And I was we not happy about that. Too many Sheiky denials. Sheiky denials. Sheiky denials. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, good tag match. I'm glad Pierre mm-hmm. Lear is still the champs. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Beer Akarani and Sheik Akbar Shabazz. I think they're a great tag team. I agree. I agree. They perform very, very well together. Yeah. So we move on. Seven main events of the evening. It's the LPW Grand Championship. It's the champion, Zoe Sager. And the intangible, Zoe Sager, taking mm-hmm. on debuting Judas Icarus. And Mel Ball was like, just went, Bleh, when she saw him. Because the shoe thing, it gives me anxiety. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, and then we had Mike Bailey afterwards. That was two, two in a row, no shoes. It gave me anxiety. Yep, I, I, I get it. They're trained professionals, and they know what they're doing. But goddamn, I worry for your toes because, like, if I'm wearing shoes and I stub my foot on something, that hurts bad enough. Mm-hmm. But like not having the shoe, do you not feel your feet? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So Judas Icarus, I've watched a few times watching stuff online with his NEW and other stuff he's done mm-hmm. ar- around Canada. He's, re- he's really good. Yeah. I really, and we, and really, really controlled early with amateur style wrestling early on. Mm-hmm. Um, chopping Zoe in the corner. Mm-hmm. Holy crap. That, the chops. And he was getting dude. some good noise off of that considering she was wearing like p- almost covered chest. Yeah. And when you're hearing like like almost like a skin on skin chop sound, mm-hmm. and she's wearing a top, that's a hard goddamn chop. Yes. This man. Okay, so I know I know Travis is from Lionsgate Dojo. I think Judas Icarus is too, um, mm-hmm. which is uh, Nicole Matthews and uh, her boyfriend there. Chris uh, Hero. Artemis Spencer. Oh oh. Yeah. No, Chris Hero's dating uh, Rachel Ellering. Right, um, right, right. Sorry. No, but Nicole Matthews and, and Artemis Spencer have their school. I don't know if they're running it right now because I know they're touring around the world right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of doing a lot of work in the States. Um, but yeah, they had their, their school, the Lionsgate Dojo. Um, and I know Travis Williams Kenner, and I think Judas Zicker is was part of that too. So again, mm-hmm. like, and dude, this guy, and then Nicole Matthews is arguably the best chopper I know I've, I've ever seen because I remember being at an RCW show years ago and she was across the building and she chopped uh, Angelica and I heard it like they, like she chopped her in front of me and that's how Ooh. I heard it and she was on the other side of the building she, nice. has, gun, she has gunshot chops um, Judas gets the scoop slam hits this like launching like launched her up in the air with the back body drop just launched mm-hmm. zoe um running he goes running back and forth like six times before he hits this nasty pk for two mm-hmm. um thickness grabbing judas on the ropes in front of the ref 
and then Zoe get because he's going into the bounce off the ropes and come back. But Zoe hits a six one nine mm-hmm. and gets a two count, and the ref doesn't really do anything with thickness at this point. I'm like blatant interference, dude. Uh, Zoe goes on the offensive, gets a forearm to the back of the neck, hits a neck breaker for two. Uh, she gets the bulldog choke. It late uh, locked in. She has it for a good bit, but Judas does stay in the fight and fights out of it. Uh, Zoe misses a lariat. Judas gets the elbow in the corner. Thickness trips up Judas, and this is where Fitzy's like, "No, nah, no, nah, get the fuck out!" And he tosses him out. Mm-hmm. Um, Judas gets a gets some more chops in the corner. Uh, puts her up, t- puts Zoe up top, but Zoe dives off. Uh, but he hits a rising knee strike to her as she's diving, and it's a running boot. Uh, hits a hammerlock blue thunder bomb for two. Uh, Zoe gets a jawbreaker, but Judas uh, hits a kick, pushes her down, then hits this nasty knee to the back of the head. But Zoe then comes back, hits the sense of Guri. Uh, Zoe stops the inverted DDT, and Judas headbutt like hits a nasty headbutt. Like I literally turn to him, like that was that king headbutt. Um, <laughs> yeah, and it, and she, but she pushes him into the turnbuckle really hard, and then she gets her electric chair slam into the bridge for two. Uh, Zoe gets the belt at one point, uh, but Judas steps on it, tosses it, and then kicks it out. Uh, stops her low blow by catching her low blow with with his legs, mm-hmm. um, and then but she ends up hitting a kick like, to that. I think she's like kicking to the head, and they both drop. Or sorry, no, that was sorry. I'm on the wrong spot. Do, 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 do. Uh, sorry, he catches the low blow, uh, and he gets a roll up for two. Then he suplex in, uh, into a urinagi. Like, he suplexes into a urinagi and for two. Then they trade pins. Then he hits the like he goes gets her in the inverted uh, DDT position, lifts her up, and then just lets her go like a like like Moxie's Xplex, but just inverted. It looked great. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he goes for a Larry, like he goes, he bounces off the rope, the middle rope, chest first, then turns around and goes for the lariat. But Fitzy's, but she moves Fitzy in into place, and he just like goes over Fitzy and just trying not to hit him. Like it was poor crazy. Fitzy. Did you see him praying to God after? Thank goodness. Yeah. And he's just like, oh my God. And he's like distracted because he's just trying to like to like regain his composure after almost getting mm-hmm. his head knocked off. Uh and then so Zoe hits Judas with the belt, hits the Z factor, and Zoe Sager is your grand champion still. God damn it. Yeah. Uh. Um, I mentioned to you afterwards this uh, Judas Icarus really gave me like drill a Maloney vibes. Yes. And the the bouncing off the rope, the chest thing gave me like Gabe Kidd vibes. Mm-hmm. Um he to me he came off as a face in this match. I think anybody against Zoe's the face, that's for sure. But he can be a nasty heel. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I feel like if he was anywhere else, that he could be that like drill a Maloney badass. Mm. Um, yeah, really, really enjoyed him. This was my first time kind of seeing him. Um, really, really impressive. Really like that kind of the the hunchy kind of again, that drill a Maloney, dirty, almost UK strong style mm. kind of vibe I got off of him. Really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, really um, good, man. Yeah, yeah. This was a really, really good match. I enjoyed this. So this was the part the where I heard Veda the most, actually. Yeah, she she was go. She was getting loud, man. Yeah, but yeah. she was excited. She was really into this match. That's what I'm saying. I loved it, and you were on the opposite end of the table from her too. Yeah, because I didn't you know, want to be next to the bell. Yeah, I get that. And where you were sitting, you got a better vantage because you were closer to the glass. I could, could see look, things, so you could look over the the. The, the top of the glass yeah. yeah um so after the match ben co- ben and the rads come out uh ben brings up the guaranteed title shot oh, yes, intros yes. and he intros the match and he's just reading it zoe sager versus what larry woods fucking and he, and larry fucking larry everybody like getting everybody's like yelling at larry ty is just 
awesome. As he's standing there, just like he's like still, but he's like. He was very angry. And poor Larry, like, looking like like a scolded child. Oh, and then like Rich and Ben are like yelling at him, making him feel bad. So Larry mm-hmm. gets the mic, calls himself a screw up, and Ty's still like, like just, like just I'm making these. Like, the faces this dude was making were just so <laughs> good, and then he gets like he goes like stone faced, like, and he just stands there stone faced for a bit. Yeah. Um. Larry says Ty does deserve this shot. Like after calling himself a screw up, he says Ty deserves this shot. But Larry needs this title shot. And then, so T.Y. gets in his face. They're going face to face. T.Y. takes the mic, but he goes, it's okay. He doesn't know what's going on. He, like, he says, I don't know what's going on in your head, but you're my brother. Uh, he says he loves him. And he, said, and he says, if you promise me you can take that belt from her, you go get that title. And then the Rads touch tips, and it's on next mm-hmm. month. Zoe Sager versus Lumberjack Larry Woods. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. me too, but I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. Concerned. So on one hand, you know, Larry could win, take that title from Zoe. You know. Start that title run, have some fun with the Rads. Mm-hmm. Um, the raddest title reign of all time. There you go. On the other hand, what happens if we don't win? It'll be it'll be hot rad winner. But yeah, there you go. I mean, it already feels like winter, and apparently we're getting snow this weekend. But yeah. Besides that, what happens on the other hand? That's my concern. The Rads are a great tag team, and they are very much a very solid tag team within this company. Mm, it's not let's not mess with that ish. We gotta get a, a, a woodwind. Woodwind. <laughs> so I'm guessing next month it's it's obviously going at, at least I'm looking at it on paper. It should be Ben Rich and TY. Facing seven and Thad, but there is one more rad we haven't seen in a while. He was out injured and he hasn't made his return to LPW. There's still Mitch yeah. Clark yeah. to come in and maybe be a savior for the rads in that six man. Maybe save Ben's career. Maybe save that Ben's manager career and send Thaddeus back to the poorhouse. Oh dear. We're in for a uh, we're in for an interesting uh, show next month. That's for sure. Yeah. So we're gonna move on to the main event, the match. Yeah. Me and Mel. This is the reason we came to this show to see Mike Bailey wrestle in person. I, I came here to see Mike Bailey wrestle my favorite wrestler. Speedball strikes first. Main event. Yes. God's gift of wrestling. Michael Richard Blaze versus Speedball Mike Bailey. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! Wowzers. Jinkies. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> good, really good back and forth transition wrestling from these two, mm-hmm. trading drop kicks back to the dirt. So Bailey unloads this chest kick to Blaze. Oh, yeah. And this is where the my where this match turned up another notch for me because of the man sitting beside me, Andreas. Because he just goes, holy shit. Because he, he kicked him so fucking hard. What was great was the two-second delay on it, too. <laughs> he was so stunned. It took him an extra couple of seconds to go, holy shit. <laughs> he nearly did. Because by that time, everyone had reacted. It went silent again. And he suddenly went, holy shit. And I was like, what? welcome back. Yeah. Uh, Bailey ends up reversing the brain buster. Blaze tries to pull for a submission, but Bailey goes to the floor. They fight on the floor. They fight up right by. They fight, fight right behind us. Yeah. Um, then they end up fighting just off past us, and Bailey get pulls the chair up, puts Blaze in it, and just mm-hmm. full on kicks him in the chest. And it was, oh, just, it was just awesome. like, ow! And then so Blaze gets out, puts Bailey in the chair, and he chops the living hell out of his chest with a yeah. chop. 
like just absolutely great. Um, yeah, and then they continue to fight to the crowd. Blazon hits like a cross leg suplex, but drops Bailey onto the corner of the apron. Yeah, that looked rough as shit. So Blaze goes yeah. in the ring. Letting Stu count. Stu's counting. He gets to nine. So Blaze just walks up, blocks Stu from counting ten. He's like, no, no, no. this. And he goes back out, sends Bailey in. But Bailey comes back rolling on through with a wrecking ball drop kick. Um, and, but, and dude, it just, like, so they, they're they just so good, man. Um, and they're just, like, ba- Bailey starts working the knees. Like dropping his double knees, um, he drops like jumps up, drops double knees onto Blaze's chest in the ring, hits the haluva kick in the corner, um, slams him, then goes up and drives like kind of like launches him up from the rope and then drives the double knees down into Blaze's chest, and and this is Andreas is like holy crap, like he's like oh like it just the reactions were perfect, um, <laughs> yeah. Dude, uh, Blaze gets hits his kick, sweeps Bailey, hits a standing moonsault for two. Uh, Blaze calls for Brainbuster, but Bailey counters. But Blaze then hits a forearm, but Bailey hits a spinning, like a spinning kick. And then that downward axe kick, then a buzzsaw kick to the head, mm-hmm. and hits a running shooting star press for two. Uh, like, dude, this was just so good. Um, MRB dodges the kicks. Like, he's just, like, literally, like, matrixing out of the way. Like, not, like, a big, but he just went, like, and was, like, dodging the kicks of Bailey. Mm-hmm. He, Bailey goes for, like, the straight kick, the straight super kick, and Blaze just moves just back enough that the foot stops right in front of him. It was it was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, he dodges the kicks, but he grabs him, hits the Spanish fly. Uh, they're trading shots at center. Bailey lets Blaze chop him in the back. Then Blaze lets him chop it, like, then Blaze turns around to go let him do it. Uh, but B- Bailey's like winding up, like taking forever, and then just kick, and then Flynn just kicks Blaze in the <laughs> back. Oh, and then sending Blaze to the floor, and then goes, hits the springboard right in front of us from the inside of the ring, mm-hmm. moonsaults over the top rope to the floor. Yeah. And hits the moonsault to Blaze on the floor. I'm like, yes, I'm getting. The, I'm seeing the greatest hits of Mike Mike Bailey here. Watching all this stuff I watched him do in Japan and, and Impact. I'm getting to see it in person. I was so pumped here. Yes. Um. Ba- like they fight on the apron. Bailey getting chest kicks. Uh, Blaze catches one forearms in the face. Tries the suplex, then tries the German, but ends up falling to the apron. And this is where Bailey backflip into the double knees, like hitting him in the chest here, and the the feet just going to smash into Blaze's face, like look, mm-hmm. just rough. And even then again, this is another one of Andres is like, oh, like just <laughs> yeah. didn't ex- he did not expect that, like just crazy. Um, Bailey gets Blaze in the ring. He goes for Ultima, but Blaze goes out of the way. And again, Andres is like, "Holy shit!" Because he did a he goes like a, did that backflip forward into the double knees, but he missed. Mm-hmm. Um, bl- and then uh, he gets Blaze up, but Blaze fights off the flamingo driver. Uh, gets Bailey in the tree of woe, and then goes to the other side. Hits that flip into the into the heel kick from one side of the ring to the other. Uh, then picks him up. Holds him up, toasted bagel, but only gets two. Classic Chucky Blaze right there with the toasted bagel. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blaze hits the brain buster. I'm th- we're all thinking it's over. <laughs> Kicks out at that last millisecond. Bla- uh, Bailey does. Like Blaze goes up to the top for the 450, but Bailey comes up, but Blaze knocks him off, but he misses the 450, but he hits a super kick, but Bailey, Bailey hits a head kick that, and then gets him in the corner, hits the tornado kick into the corner, goes up, hits the ultimate weapon, but Blaze kicks a 2.9. I'm like, holy shit. Mm-hmm. So Bailey puts him back up, gets him in the flamingo driver, Blaze slips out. They trade pins back and forth. Bailey like hits the backflip knees, 
gets Blaze back up on top, goes for the flamingo driver again, but ba- Blaze slips out, trips him down, looks like he's going for a sharpshooter, but then drops down as he's got the legs crossed, ties him in, grabs the head, pulls like he got. He's, it's like he tied him up in like this mm-hmm. pretzel-like hold. But Bailey gets to the ropes. You're like, what? The f-? So, ba- so Blaze yells Brainbuster again, picks him up. Brainbuster p- brings back the running knee to the head that he mm-hmm. hasn't done in a long time. Okay. Then pu- pulls in, in that like pretzel lock that he has. We need to talk to him and find out what the name of his pretzel lock is. <laughs> in the meantime, it's just pretzel lock. Or the sharpshooter lock, because it's a sharpshooter setup, but then pulls Bailey in. I don't know what it's called. A sharp Mike, and Mike Bailey taps out to God's gift to wrestling. Holy shit, man. This was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> this was everything I wanted this match to be in more. Oh, oh yes, I agree. I agree. This yeah. is exactly what I expected and more out of these two guys because we know the talent that both MRB and Mike Bailey are. But as you said, being able to to see the moves that we've been talking about with him mm-hmm. in Japan just feet in front of us was really freaking cool. Dude, um, and then to have him fighting right behind us, really freaking cool. Dude, cool night all around. I was so like this is a bucket list match for me over this last but year. Like I've, I again, I've been watching watching Bailey for a long time, mm-hmm. like before Impact for it all. Like, I, like I've been like I've seen some of his stuff before that, mm-hmm. but like since he is coming to Impact, like I wanted to see this match a long time ago, and then Bla- and since he's been wrestling in Impact, and when he came over to New Japan, I'm like, like this is I'm like, always thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm like Spencer, this is a match you need to book in my head. I'm like, I'm like this, you need to book this match, and he finally did. I guess he's been working on it for a couple of years now. Mm-hmm. Um, holy shit, this was good, man. I this was so good. I mean, what else can you say? Like, it, it really was just that damn good. It was a great main event, tremendous way to end the show. This is easily in my top five matches of this year that I've watched personally. Because, like, again, this like. And again, it's not all. And again, match quality, the match itself isn't always everything to me. Story Mm -hmm. plays a big point, but also Mm -hmm. my feelings towards wrestlers plays a big point. And that's why Will Ospreay consistently has match of the year matches to me. Because again, I have such an affinity for him. And this is why this match means so much because Blaze, like, again, I've said it many times, Blaze is my favorite wrestler of all time. And Mike Bailey is is one of my top five favorite wrestlers going right now because mm-hmm. of how good this guy is. And to watch this is just like easily in my top five matches I've watched this year. It was so good, so mm-hmm. good. It was really was. Yeah, like hundred percent. Like this, this is easily makes my list this year. Hundred <laughs> percent. Like nothing could top. Like I, there's like Osprey's match matches with with Kenny Omega do top it in my opinion because they were just so epic but this just mm-hmm. is easily number three because just seeing it in person what it meant to me watching these two wrestle absolutely tremendous and then I got, then I got to go see Bla- and then uh, Bailey came back out after the match yeah, back in his car, and so I went over and we were, I was just telling him how good his match was and everything me and so I was talking with Matt Underwood and then uh we, we started talking to him, and then I asked him, like, can I get a picture? Another picture with you? He's like, yeah. And I took, so we, we took another mm-hmm. picture. Dude, he was so he was so cool, man. So like, nice. Like, I, they always say never meet your heroes, but, like, a lot of wrestlers are pretty goddamn humble and appreciative of the fans they have. And Bailey is definitely... <laughs> and Bailey is definitely one of them. What the mm-hmm. fuck is that? <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> what? That was really weird. What just happened? <laughs> there was a spider on my slipper, and I'm trying not to lose my shit right now. <laughs> oh, so I don't like, know where it went. Oh, you got anything more in this one, Mel? Oh, I'm good. 
<laughs> the spider, the spider killed you. Ooh. The spider, yeah, it may. It, it, the night is still young. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. We are going to get out of here. Thank you for tuning in for another edition of Chop Talk. You can find me on the X Mastodon Blue Sky Hive at that Canada guy, the TikTok, the Instagram, and the threads at that Canada dude. You can find me right over here at Andre Melball Wrestling Talk on Facebook. Um, you can find me starting next week, starting this week at some point. I don't know. The show comes out Thursday. So we're not sure if the show's going to come out Friday or Saturday or Sunday. I'll be back with my boy, my 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 tag team partner when I when I don't have Mel around, Mr. Ed Fries. We're going to be talking Marvel Talk over at Twitch.tv, such our local establishment, Instagram and TikTok at OLE Podcast, and YouTube.com slash at our local establishment. You can also find all of our great content. You might be watching us there at Backbreaker Video. Go check them out at youtube.com slash at backbreaker video. Mike's doing all the great content, all the great wrestling content up there. You can see all his live content at twitch.tv slash Mike Durant. He's playing games, doing AEW watch alongs, lots of great stuff. I know tonight as we record this, he did a preview of AEW Wrestle Dream. I was he wanted me to be part of it, but I was at work and I was recording this. And then you can find all the great replays of his gaming content and stuff over at youtube.com slash at backbreaker game where you can find his replays. You can find Rick Jules' replays. You can find PJ Mr. PJC's Rick play replays i'm sorry rick plays <laughs> and then you can find the and then um a bunch of mike's videos they're freaking guests you can check her out miss kayla j kayla j love kayla j love kayla j Millball. yes where can they find you if you're wanting to find a mobile you can find her on the x thing and call us mobile you can find her on everything else at facebook instagram tiktok blue sky and mastodon and mobile collins you can catch her. <laughs> I, do, I want to find it and kill it. Um, you can find her on our local establishments programming, Fair and Mindful with Alex the Werewolf, every other Monday. We were going to <laughs> stop laughing at me. I'm trying to get through it, man. We're, we're going to get through it. Oh, my God. Get the feet off the ground just in case. <clears throat> you can catch us on Monday with another EVP from Alex the Werewolf. And you'll want to check that out. It's going to be about the Alaska Triangle. You can also catch me on Astro Pizarro's YouTube channel, where we are doing our show, Ladies Wrestling Showcase, where we talk about all things great in women's wrestling. <laughs> we will get through this. Holy crap. If you are wanting to get tickets to Love Pro Wrestling, they have a new ticket thing that I don't know if Andre has a ticker for. But we will leave it in the description box below because I am the admin and that is what I do. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll share it out, the link uh, with the video. Uh, I'll get it quickly here. We already got our tickets. VIPs are almost sold out, actually, already. Yes, I'm glad yeah. I got mine when I got the Patreon link. Um, yeah, uh, go check that. Go check them out. Always great content in all the great professional wrestling. Uh, mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here. One last uh, thing, one last thing. Oh, uh, you, you want to hawk your friend's school there? Find this nice oh, yes, uh, please check them out. Uh, October 28th and 29th, which is the days after the next show, they will be running a mini camp, uh, $200 for two days. Uh, four hours per day. Go check them out. Clandestine Society. You can check them out. Uh, just clandestinesociety.com, I think, is their website. I'm not 100% sure. I'll we'll put, put a, a link in the description box. Yeah, we'll put it in the description box. But please go check them out. Mm -hmm. Lots of great stuff. over. They do a lot of – they produce a lot of great professional wrestlers so far. They're doing great. They're doing great things over there. So if you want to do some do some professional wrestling, go check that out. Maybe mm -hmm. next year once I'm in I'm in better shape. You never know. I might try, I might try out a mini camp. You never know. Have fun. <laughs> you, never, you never know. I'll never be a wrestler, but yeah. And I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us here. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, comment down below, and uh, hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time we drop a new video. Ding dong. Hello. <laughs> uh, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a great night. Bye.